He's Good afternoon. Now. We're here having our meeting for February 2nd, 2016. Um, we'll, start, we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I don't forget the flag, believe me. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States of America, America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll start off with the minutes uh, held on January 5th, 2016. Oh, excuse me, pu public comment. Anybody got anything to say? No? Okay, the minutes, the regular minutes held on January 5th, 2016. Dean will be on hold until our next meeting. Can I get a vote on that? I make, or do I I make a motion we hold until the next okay. meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed, none. Uh, discussion and vote to accept the key security policy. So moved. A second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Discussion and vote to accept the credit card policy. Should we note that these are things we've already discussed and we just need to vote really to sign them? Is that what we're doing? It's yes. Do a sign. But um, the thing is with the credit card policy, um, the card is the there same, was. The, what? The card is the same, isn't it? Yes, everything's the same. I just got to let the public know because I got to. Um, somebody called me about their credit card. A policy about their credit cards be, can be uh, used here and there, there, and then I explained to them, no, this is to, just to do with the Arban Housing Authority credit cards, not not personal cards. Oh, no. So I want to get that out, and I want to make sure people understand. It's just the Arban Housing credit cards that they use. The employees use. Right. Yeah. And that's it. There's no personal information from any tenants at all. Did we have a second on this motion? We had the motion, but I don't remember hearing a second. I don't know. I didn't hear the motion. Well, can somebody make a motion second, it, please? I'll second. I so moved. I didn't. didn't it's okay. So okay. who made the motion? Someone did. Somebody did make a motion. Did it well, whatever. No. Can well, we get Alice, made it in Joyce Alice just made it and Joyce just seconded it, so we <laughs> have it. We have it. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? None. Executive Director's Report. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. What? Yes, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's it. That hey, what am I doing with Arnie yet? No, but yes. Just didn't want to well, go I'm on telling you. I know. Um, as of right no, now... Me too? No. One. <clears throat> Yeah, we did. <laughs> all right. Oh, I moved up a little. As of right now, we'll have one vacancy at Pheasant Court. We're waiting for the um, keys to come in, and then we'll be looking at the emergency list to place somebody in a three-bedroom at Pheasant Court. We're still moving forward with um, lease violations. We're still going to court with the residents. We have four residents under uh, judges' agreements, and if they violate, then we will be taking them back into court. So we have um, actually did get an eviction. Did you? Yeah. So that um, will be that'll be our vacancy. So, um, how much time do they have to vacate? They were given two weeks. So, we should have the keys by tomorrow. And um, so that's it for Pe Pheasant Court, Pinebrook Court, and all the other developments are fully well printed. The maintenance um, staff have been working on windows. They did some in the back of Packachog. These were windows that we had already purchased that had yeah. been in storage. Because the weather's been so mild, they've been able to actually install the windows. So they did 
units three and four um, this week at between last week and this week down at Pheasant Court. So we're just going to keep buying them, and as the weather permits, they're going to keep putting them in, you know, because it's a good time of year to do that. We really can't do siding, but windows we can do. So they've been busy with that. We have received some complaints, and we're still receiving complaints about parking and the elderly and having to walk to parking spots. Um, we're going to be putting more visitor parking signs up at Pakachog Village to make it clearer as to what is a visitor spot and what actually is a, a resident spot. And we'll look at doing the same thing down here too so that there'll be no question, question as to what, <clears throat> but I mean we obviously have to wait until spring. But if Puxatani <clears throat> Phil is right, it shouldn't be too long. You know, so we'll put the order in, and as soon as we can, we'll get more signage up. Mm -hmm. And that will take care of, hopefully, the people parking in, in resident spots. We're still getting the issue of, well, this is my spot, and you shouldn't be parking in my spot. And we can't rectify that because we can't assign the parking. But everybody knows, and if people are considerate, they know who's been parking there. And when people aren't considerate, there's no use getting into an argument, which we did have. So, it, you know, it is what it is with that. We had a, a woman sent us a letter that um, requested a quad machine in the laundry rooms. And we did speak to... Um, Ian from Automatic Wash Machine about that, and he said that we could put one in, but it would have to be on an inside wall, and we would be liable if anybody were to break into that machine. So I do not think that that's a good idea. I mean, I can have rolls of quarters in the office, and if anybody needs them during the, you know, the hours the office is open, but I mean, that's really the kind of, most of the residents don't do their own laundry anyway, so the, the caregivers, or whoever does their postage and banking or whatever, should be providing them with the quarters for the machine. It could be, yeah. You it's know what I Isn't it part of independent living? Well, but the, her point is a lot of people don't drive, so they don't always have quarters. Yeah. They don't always have quarters. But if mm -hmm. I have rolls of quarters, I could keep them in the office and then, you know, we could ship them up to people if you know if that was the case. The only thing that I can see that might cause a problem with that is everyone has access with their keys to come into the community space, don't they? Mm -hmm. So if there is, it's very easy. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult to break into the office after the quarters, and I don't think that's a good idea. We don't want to tempt them <coughs> to do that. I wasn't. I was only going to have like. Yeah. Two rules of quarters. Well, that I can see. I wasn't going to have like. No, I understand, but, but there's not that many quarters actually in a roll. Ten dollars worth, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Don't it's you have 40, to? Don't 40, you have 40, to keep a certain amount? Forty quarters. Like a miscellaneous. A we have amount. our petty cash is actually yeah. my money, right? Right. I put oh, okay. twenty dollars of my money in a petty cash so that if a tenant needs to pay like $123 and they come in with, you know what I mean? Just to, we, yeah. it's just to yeah. make change. But the money is there. But, yeah. but the money is there, but it's actually my money as opposed to the housing authority's money. So that that way, if, it, if there's ever a problem, it's not the housing authority's money, it's my money. But that's not, that's not good either. But because that's the way it is, have to do that. I understand that, but that's the way it is. I don't want it to be where, <clears throat> we're not gonna keep a considerable amount amount of money in this right. office. We do not. It's it's just the basic right. We do not have to get by. Right. My whole point is I want everybody to know that we don't keep a lot of money in we the office. We do not keep a lot of money in That's the office. We do not keep checks right. in the office. We go to the bank as needed. <clears throat> you know, so but I mean I don't know how you feel about the the machine idea. I did not think of it was a good one because then we would be liable 
yeah. you, for any you, kind of damage. Do you want to make a, you need a motion on that, or? Do you want to? It's up to you. you do we need vote. a motion? I don't think we do. Okay. You know? I would say no. <clears throat> but I will respond to all the individual things in this letter, and I will state why that, you know, right. we're not yes. going to go forward <clears throat> yeah. with Good. that. Good. And then um, there were some issues with residents and there's specific residents that people are having problems with. So we have requested police reports to find out the activity on particular apartments. Yeah. We've had um, complaints about smoking again. Mm -hmm. So that we have had the complaints put in writing. In some instances, it's more than one resident in a building and they're putting it, it in writing. So we're having, the Board of Health did one verification and they didn't smell it. They didn't smell smoke. Maintenance staff has gone in at different times and they have smell. smelled smoke. So we're in, we are initiating the no smoking policy. The, we give a verbal warning first and then we're doing a written warning. That's the first step. We're on the second step with some people where they're um, actually being fined $25. And then the third step is going to bring it up to $100. So it's the residents in the building that are complaining about the smokers. And it's pretty obvious when somebody is smoking in those buildings. So the people that are writing the complaint, we're writing a response back to them so that they know that, yes, in fact, we did investigate that it was from more than one person and that, oh, by the way, they action has been taken. And if you smell it again, just put it in writing again. And we'll just keep. But then what do you do? Is it an eviction? Eviction is step four. four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Housing court. Housing court. Yeah. And because that woman died in Millbury Housing yes. because of smoking, I mean, she was the one that was smoking, but she actually perished in a fire in her apartment mm -hmm. due to smoking. Mm -hmm. So I think the judges are going to be more inclined to evict if, in fact, we have followed this process. It's been verified by more than just the tenants. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you're going four steps. Right. And it's documented. You and know? it's documented. Yeah. And the steps are documented. But we have received uh, probably five complaints of smoking up at Pakachog just to th within the last three weeks. Of course, the package yard residents are coming in now for recertification. So while they're here, that's when they're telling us about the work orders, and that's when they're telling us about mm -hmm. the smoking. Mm -hmm. So, but we are following a process. And then, um, I think that was it on this one. On that one, yeah. We had a complaint about the sidewalks. They weren't being shoveled properly, that came to Wayne. Wayne came in and checked the sidewalks to see if, in fact, they were shoveled. And I, yeah, I looked at them all. I even drove up through the fire lanes and everything. And when I looked at it, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. And that was the only complaint we received. As far as the sidewalk goes, mm -hmm. yeah. Far, was, as far as the sidewalk. It so was fine. So they've worked hard. I mean, fortunately, we haven't had a lot of snow. That's worked to our eyes. Now that I say that, we probably have a blizzard. But, you know, after last year, we could use a break. <laughs> so that's where we're at with that. But the police reports I'm waiting for, I'm going to have more police enforcement action going. We're working really well with the police department and they're helping us as far as what we think is going on, we're finding out is going on. Are Which they moving faster on getting <coughs> either reports? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Glad yeah. to hear that. That's good. And now they know what we're looking for. I gave the detective a copy of our leases and a oh, copy good. of our rules and regulations so that they know what these what people, they are. Yep. you know, if, in fact, they're doing it, they're violating our rules and regulations. Yeah. And they're putting that in their report. 
Because they signed the lease and they signed the yep. rules and regulations. They signed everything. So if, if then, if the police can help us write the reports so that we can per push to get these people out. You know, I mean, our waiting list is so long and the opportunities for housing are so few that we're going to just be more active. Well, the thing is, you've got to be more active because it just disturbs the other tenants that are there and, and it's a policy. Yep. It's not right. It's not right. Yep. It's got to be dealt with. You know, you can't just let them do whatever they want. Right. There's rules and regulations and no matter what you do in life. Right. Especially for independent them. living. Yeah. You know? And because the judge did evict this one resident, I was shocked. Okay. To be honest with you, I was shocked. But I'm hoping that the more I go to court, they'll know that we're taking this very seriously. What happened at Fezzik Court is, you know, and the inspections we're going to do quarterly, so I'll be scheduling inspections again. The last time, you know, the fire department went into the families to check the sheds and stuff, so. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you tell us what kind of a um, violation it was that no. led to the eviction? No. Yeah. Not yet, until it's over with. Once it's disposed of, you can. No. Not the type? I just was curious as to whether it was what it was. Privacy Act. Yeah. I wasn't asking for the name or a unit, I was just asking for the type. Yeah. Well, at least, you know, like you're saying, at least. Non payment. Non payment? Good enough. Mm -hmm. Leave it there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm shocked. I mean, normally they just drag it out, drag it yeah, out. Drag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe they heard us complaining about the things not getting done. <laughs> Maybe they did. We didn't have enough money to no. cover everything. Well, it is, it's well, not it that, is, but the thing is you can't. No, but if you stop and think about it, if we have non-payment, you only oh, have yeah, that's on the no, state side. No. What? what money the, the renters pay, right? Right. Oh, no, that's definitely. Right. But, I mean, even with any violation, you know. But it, it, the only problem is they, ha they it goes like two or three months of non-payment before, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to have to go to small claims court unless get I can get an agreement for a payback, which I'm hoping that I can. Because yeah. they want to. I'm sorry, do they have to pay back the expenses, the court expenses? <clears throat> Anything that we incurred, it would have to be paid back because that's what's actually owed to us. And they don't want a big mark on their um, credit hmm. with the credit bureau because anybody that's looking at them for as a possible <clears throat> tenant hmm. is going to see that because we do come up as a, I don't know what you call that. No, is it, is it a debtor or? Yeah. Debtor? Yeah, something, something like that. Own, yeah. Oh, okay. So. I'm just really surprised to tell you the truth because, you know, the only time I was there, we went to house in court a few times and they never had good for nothing. And they had good reason to, yeah, they, and they didn't. They make you do any agreements. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. So was Karen Ols. She was like, let's get out of here quick before they change their mind. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we got about enough on that. Yep. As yeah. far as that goes. So we're moving forward with that. And then, um, I guess that's about, about it. Right. The inspections will be starting again. I said that. Yep. The more frequent. Mm -hmm. Quarterly. And, yeah, inspections. So, and then your cameras, you're moving on that. Cameras. We did get a uh, second quote. We need th three quotes if if, if we can get them, but we're in, we at least have two. I'm trying to get a third, but and then we'll be moving forward with the cameras. Okay. And it's going to start at Pheasant Court. Good. Okay. You all set? Do we have any member items? I just have a quote. Uh, I'd just like to speak again about the speed. Speed? And the speeding at okay. Kakajak Village. If they're going in or going out, they're, they're doing, the speed limit is posted the first 
thing is speed limit five miles an hour, and they're doing 35 and 40 miles an hour. You can watch them go, come in and go all the way to the back in five, four seconds. They don't. Mm -hmm. They're just traveling too fast. It, do you know, like, like, is it the tenants or is it the? It's tenants and Residence. even the delivery trucks. Wow. Like the UPS truck coming through is bombing in? Mm -hmm. well, we took the speed bump bumps out because they were damaging the trucks. I think mm -hmm. just after the winter we could Maybe put those. Maybe one anyway. After the winter we could put those temporary bump things in. Mm -hmm. They're going that fast. You need something to slow them down. Bold as I mean, what? No, I if you, just a big sign there, a homemade painted sign. Just put notice, speed limit, five miles an hour. Until the people get used to seeing it. Make so it maybe, so, that it's, so a bigger sign? Yeah, just a big sign. start with that, can see we have how a it works. One? Flashing one? Well, you one of those digital ones that change yeah. color and no, come up a snazzy yeah. sign. <laughs> Just no. a, a one that's almost in their way that they have to drive around. Just something to slow them down. They, they zip in here too. I see them. Not like they do up at the village. Mm -hmm. Honest. Do you work the call to UPS or? Any of the ones that deliver <coughs> there? Bless you. Might be. God bless, bless you. you. You know, I mean, if there's more than one delivery, I'm sure, or more than one delivery company that delivers. That I noticed because it happened this afternoon. Right. But, I mean, it's all the time I cars go through. Slow down when they go through. Oh. Well. Yeah, but it's even the senior center van bombs in. You know what I mean? It's like... Call it. I tell all right, so we'll call everybody that we see and... And tell them to slow down in a bigger sign. And maybe you should then put that temporary happens. speed bump in for a while and see if that yeah. people get used to it being there. Maybe they'll slow down. You know, well, maybe this. She puts it in now. We yeah, you gotta wait till it's spring. She's in the spring. You might. You might. Well, we could do that when we do the out. signs. Yeah. We're gonna do the visitor signs, so we'll put oh, a temporary go. speed bump. Do we, we already have a temporary speed no. bump? We have to buy one. We gotta oh. buy one. We're How gonna get the one with those nails. You know how like at the oh airport? God. <laughs> you know how like put the airport? Oh yeah, if you're going too fast, <laughs> nails pop up. Yeah. <laughs> how much do those cost? I don't Jeez. know, but we're going to be looking for them with the nails. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it'll slow everybody down. We're going to have a lot of flat tires, people. <laughs> well, only a few well, it'll times. slow them down, won't it? Yeah. Yes, it will. Times, well, they won't do it. So I'm going to have to get the, well, i got to get the signs, the prices for the signs, the bigger ones. Bigger speed limit signs, bigger visitor signs, temporary speed bump with nails. <laughs> well, just temporary speed bump because that might be too expensive. With the nails? Yeah. Give me a piece of wood, I'll paint a sign. <laughs> you know, you might even ask the highway because they have a sign making machine. They may help you out. It's worth it. Yeah, but we can't have like a tacky sign. I mean, we're going to have Alice holding it. <laughs> oh, that's right, too. Yeah. That's <laughs> a whistle. A whistle, yeah, there we go. We'll get her a whistle. Yeah, I'll, I'll sorry. take my cert whistle. There you go. There you Put go. your cert vest on. Yeah. You'll look, we'll get you a hat. You'll look yeah, official. Yeah, but that cert wouldn't approve of that. No, cert would not approve of that. So, you know what, we'll get. It's we'll, safety. What color is sir? <laughs> Lime green? Yes. Oh, yeah. So we'll get you fluorescent orange. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give me uh, well, okay. just, you know, what are the machines that they point anything. at them to tell them the speed? Does oh, a radar mean? gun? A radar gun. <laughs> oh and we'll give you a little ticket booklet. Yeah. Just a radar gun. You can do it a few days. times. <laughs> You could always say monitor by radio. You want to they stop the speed? You get a badge. Let them know the badge. Oh, the badge too. No. Oh, you don't want a badge. No. Oh, All right. right. Just but people know that you're keeping the speed. They're going to say, "Oh, what's going on?" 
your you apartment's you... in the perfect spot for us, for it, Alice. Really. <laughs> yeah. You're right as they come in. Yes. I mean, if they just saw you doing it. We'll have a toll stop. Yeah, we'll put a, a toll, toll stop. stop. <laughs> and build your box. You can stand in there. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Then the gate would fall. We could have a booth. Well, you can yeah, that's what I was just saying. You have to know the code to come in. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got some things that we can work on there. <laughs> Do we have anything else in, for members? I just had a question. Yes. Uh, that webinar, has that webinar already happened? The yes. Webinar, it's already happened. So and we, we're just waiting for the We're waiting for the, okay. the disc and DVD. The yeah. That was on housing. You all set? Well, the other thing we're going to talk about is um, how we're going to change, if, if it's possible to change the laws. Right. Now I'm just going to bring that up. Okay. And the 48 hours, for instance, is one that we're thinking about. I don't know if anyone after the last meeting had thought about it and come up with any ideas about changing policies with the, with the housing that we're going to go through. Probably Karen Polito and the governor, and ask them to request them to have a meeting with us, so we can discuss issues uh, with policies and DCF issues with them. But I want to get the boards okay before we do it. I want everybody to be on board, and I don't want to do it behind the scenes. I want it out in the open, and I would like to have. Laurie in her office and a letter out to <clears throat> Governor Baker and Karen Polito and um, see if we can get a meeting together just to discuss it. The 48 hours and anything else you people want to discuss or come up with. Would you invite them to a regular meeting? I don't see why not. Sure. Well, we don't have like a lot really no, no. going, so. Yeah. I'd like I to think... see that time be made as short as possible for us to be able to get into the apartments if we have to, to, well, I, yeah. to find. I'd like to find out the history of it. Like, yes. when did this well, not come only into that, effect and how, what the right. circumstances yeah. were around it? And, and not only that, but to, to let, let them know, too, that this committee is standing up and doing things to change things. Absolutely. To make it better. And that's why we want to discuss it with them. Just have, well, whatever else. If you come up with anything else besides the 48 hours, there may be other things that other people wanted. That's why I asked you. Go ahead. Were you going to invite a federal level political representative in that we have federal housing and the state, the state representatives, the governor wouldn't be able to? Yeah, do anything with the federal. But couldn't we start like with one? Like group. Karen Polito is an attorney. Like, couldn't we actually start with one, and then what? Like, Branch out. if she turns around and tells us that this isn't gonna fly, right? Then, or how we go about doing getting, it? You know what I mean? Like, if it doesn't look like it's something that we could possibly do, there's no point getting HUD people involved. If the state shuts us down, then we can ask the HUD people. Because that was the same thing with the smoke-free housing. The state was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Mm -hmm. But then HUD was saying, oh, yes. yes. So that's how we were able to get the smoke-free mm -hmm. so much ahead of everybody else. Because we had the federal program. Mm -hmm. We instituted it with the help of other federal housing authorities. And we came, now all of a sudden the state's on board with it. And you know what I mean? So if, if we start with the state and, and don't get much help, then we can turn around and say to HUD, well, we've gone to the state, how do we fix this? Because the problem that we had happened on a state site. Mm -hmm. So to start there I think would be a good idea. And then once we can get, if we can get the state, 
piece of it, then it'll be easier to get the federal piece of it. Because, I mean, we don't know if this is something that we could vote on within our agency. I mean, can we put a policy, and this is what we're going to ask her. I mean, can, can we, we make put, our own policy? Can we make our own policy to suit our needs? Right. Can you make a policy that's more stringent mm -hmm. than the state law? Right. Or, a lot of times local things can be, as long as it's more stringent. More, as long as it's right. more stringent. Not less stringent. And on the more. federal side, the state actually has a standard lease. Mm -hmm. The feds don't. Mm. So we might be able to get it in on a federal lease with the residents, the current residents' approval. They'd have to vote mm -hmm. on that because it's it would be a change to their existing lease. But because they don't have a standard one, right. it might be an easier road. But I think it's something worth pursuing. trying. The thing is, if we pursue it. And it doesn't work in the end. At least we went out and did what we could. Right. If you need to go to legislation and get things changed, well, maybe we think about doing that. But at this point, we're on the ground level. We want to get involved. We want to make changes. Whether we walk into a wall or not, we are moving forward as a committee to make it better and to make things work better for the and safety I, of our residents. And I know since... Our incident happened that all the other housing authorities I'm hearing are getting cameras now too. So that is a positive thing. They, they see the need for them. So maybe other housing authorities would get on board with this too. All right. Because I mean, if, if it's just probable cause and you could go to the police and say, you know what, we think this is going on, and based upon our information if they could act on it. So then right. it wouldn't even be just us, it would be getting law enforcement right. Right. involved. Perhaps at that meeting we should have somebody from the police department here too. Well, we've already so talked they, to the police but, department. But they would hear what, the, what they have to say at the same time and what our concerns are and why. It's just a uh, thought. Well, I mean, eventually I mean, we did did that already, but if the board wants it, that's fine with me. But I, I just don't want to make an overabundance of people. No, no but I think, you know, if but, the governor and the, and the, and the assistant the governor come, yeah. and, and uh, somebody from the police department, we should have everything covered. And they know why we're, come, we're doing it and where it's coming from. It's just, just why a not? thought. No, you know, no it's, a good one. it's a good one. Yeah, you think they'll come? They don't. They don't. The thing is, we're moving well, forward we'll and trying to get them to do it. They don't do it. Well, then we can make it known that they didn't do it. You know, we're trying to make things better and not saying they're not going to do it, but, yeah. I mean. And if we don't ask, we'll never know. Either. Right, exactly. If we don't move forward, we're not going to get anything done. At least we're being proactive. Right. And this board is, is working to make things better. Forty-eight For hours notice, written it's notice, is is a long time. Four hours is too long. You know, well, there's different ways you can do it. Out. I don't want to get it's too far it's into it right out. now, but yeah. Yeah. I have different ideas. I'd like to talk at that meeting too. So, yeah. but I just want the board to make a vote that we can talk to these people and set up a meeting to discuss the issue. One other thing. We had talked about, about, excuse me, about a memorial. Yeah, can I get a vote on what we just said first, and then we'll go back to that? You're going to get a vote? Yeah, I'd like to get a vote to be That's able to do it. Said. Can you do that without having it on, it's the, on the agenda? It's not on oh, the agenda. Oh, it's not on the agenda. Okay. We'll month. hold it for that'll next give, month. That'll give okay. us a chance to come up with other things that we can find, too, that we need to discuss at the same time. Right. That's fine. Okay. Go okay. ahead. I'm sorry, I was just going to ask you, does it have to just be issues related to safety, or if you're going to have this public meeting and you're going to have someone from the state here, could we bring up things? Does it have to be safety related, or could it be anything? I'm just asking. It could be anything. Okay. It could be anything. If you, get, the, if you, the, you mean if you right. had another okay. question you wanted to ask? Well, something other than safety, like if it was a federal representative, yeah, like local preference, you know, that would take a, that would take a change in the, in the legislature. 
Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, I think people are more supportive of housing if many town residents could come in. Well, we have it on the state side. I know, but we don't have it on the federal. That's why I was asking if you were going to have a federal person. But just something like that. I mean, I'm not saying, obviously, we have it on the state side. But are you primarily just focusing this meeting on safety? Is that what I'm doing? Well, no. You can focus on anything. My main focus was, the was safety and notice issues. Yeah. And... As far as I'm concerned, as long as we don't get too far out of our main goal, that's what I want to do. Personally, that's the way I want to do it. Because you go too far out, then you're talking about everything under the sun. You're here for a day trying to figure out who's saying what and why. I don't want that. I want to be kind of focused on one section that uh, that we wanted, which was the 48 hours and whatever other issues you want to speak. But I don't want to go too far off board. On that no? HUD preferences thing, I think I'm going to call. I'm going to start calling people from HUD to ask if there is a way. Mm -hmm. Probably to, legislation. To but. change. Mm -hmm. Or if it can be on a local level. Yeah. I seem to think that someone had said at one of the seminars or something that, that it is. Yeah. It would have to be changed through yeah, Congress. Yeah, I think so too. I'm pretty huh. sure, but it doesn't have to look. Can you bad. picture us doing that? <laughs> hey, if we need. Hey, if you have to. You've been to Washington. You flew. If you to have South. to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go. With That's that. a star, Ian. All right, so we'll we'll find out about that somehow. Right. Okay. And you were talking about the memorial. The memorial. What? Do we want to do a memorial? We had talked about it. What do you think would be appropriate? Should we do what? I don't know. I think, my opinion, I think we should put maybe um, a tree and a plaque, if that's all right with the committee. A smaller plaque. I don't mean a big thing. What like does everybody else think? In yeah, in memory of. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Can I just say that if we're you gonna say do you want. if we're gonna do that, right? Yeah. You remember the tree out here, the E yes. with the bittersweet, mm -hmm. the bittersweet tree. Yeah. If I'm gonna do a plaque for this tree, can I put can I put like Edie on a on the bittersweet tree? Absolutely. Yes, I think that's a nice idea. Absolutely. Can I have a motion for that? So moved. On both. Seconds. Like all in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. So we're gonna we're gonna put a memorial down there for Ava at Pheasant Court, a tree with a plaque. And Edie's bittersweet tree is gonna have a plaque in memory of Edie. Okay. Good. That's okay. nice. And maybe we could put bittersweet on the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could put have bittersweet bittersweet engraved on the plaque. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. It would be nice. All right, okay, so that's well, good. That's Thank real you. good. We got two out of that one. I would just point out that we just took a loan on something that's not on the agenda. Oh, we got to wait till next month. Sorry. Just put it on the agenda. I'm just put it on next. We can certify it next month. We'll cer yeah, we'll certify it next month. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. <laughs> well, you don't want to violate the open meeting? No, well, you're no, right. You're no, right. No, you're absolutely and this right. Is, we'll put this on for next month. Okay. I think everybody got just got excited about doing it. And they yeah, <laughs> just kind of right. went off board. Away. Not me. I didn't vote. All right, oh, so that's good. Geez. <laughs> so that's good. Well, we got to vote for you. All right. <laughs> so okay. are we done? Any public comment? No. Okay, now we just got to schedule the next meeting. Do you have public comment? I have Match. just one comment. Uh-oh. Um, Sorry. I don't go over first. <laughs> um, okay. The girls that come to do wash, the machines are not available anymore. When we first got the uh, rules and regulations, the machines were supposed to be left free until noon. Mm -hmm. hmm. But you know what, Bernie? In reality, the the other residents have as much right 
to use I those agree. machines as the care get home yeah. homemakers. We did have it till noon, but if we were to push that, they I have as much right to use one it. One girl was told this week, come tomorrow. And of course they are assigned to stay at job. Well, they should do it common courtesy. Yeah, you know, yeah common courtesy. Most people don't. So they don't yeah. want to do what they want to do. Couldn't a uh, letter? I just thought I would. We have no, a letter. A good, we can just send out the same. A letter just yeah. requesting B we cards. Do. We have do. the same old letter. Well, we'll just dig it out. Send it again. Got no tendency. And then. the speeding, I can edit the speeding letter too. We'll just send that out again. Good reminders. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our next meeting will be March 1st at 3.30. March already, that sounds good. <laughs> I know, March already. <laughs> I like it better when you say April. Yeah. <laughs> and can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? I beat you. All right.